Hallelujah, hallelujah. And we are sorry about Nataka Kwanza Ibada Yetu. Tasi what water was shimami in Tafazali. We need to part of Kwanza. Shimami Tafazali. So to Shimami. To Kisema, what water was shimami. Hakuna nice day.
Kisha kusewa Hawana kusumwazi na wadao Nini wapate kukuta kwa mungu Wana unasahidi Sipa ziku wana wa mungu Asante kwa sugu ya leo Asante mungu wana wa mungu Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bila kugawia tunaenda kuimba nyimbo za wokovu. Tutafungua eh, tugabue nyimbo za wokovu. Tutafungua nyimbo hizo katika namba ya uh, sasa nkante. Sasa nkante katika nyimbo za wokovu. Fungua Nyimbo hizo, the salvation song, one, five, one. Sasa nkante, wade wanazitua wa sogele ukumbele. Hallelujah. Kama unakuwa na nyimbo ya okovu, jitahidi uimbe na sifa zitaburudi, zitamurudi mungu. Ukifungua kinyo chako kumusifu. Yes. Malaika watashifu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Minasema mokozi, moto, safi, wazi. Tunataka mungu wa kumusifu. Yes. Hallelujah.
moja maku mingine. Ukichukuliwa na mashaka yako Tell me, Michelle. 
So now is our time to worship, so I'm going to ask everyone to stand up.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So now it's our time to go to praise. Let us please stand up. I see some people that are still sitting down. Let us please stand up.
So, ibada yetu ni kila jumapili tuko hapa. Na tunaanza saa 3 tunaenda hadi saa 7. From 11 to 1. Na kila mmoja anaandikwa kwa ibada yetu ya jumapili. And everybody is welcomed on Sundays. Hivyo Wednesday inakuwa ni siku ya maombi na ni saa kumi na mbili hadi saa moja ya jioni. From 6 until 7 p.m. Kila mmoja wetu anaandikwa kwa hiyo huduma ya maombi into the session of prayers Saturday tunakuwa hapa vile vile na mafundisho na vile vile kuweza kumuomba Mungu together with praying God Satano hadi saa saba from 11 until 1 Tulisema kumekuwa mabadiliko We say we had some changes Maombi ya Saturday imekuja Wednesday The prayers of Saturday it has been changed Na Saturday inakuwa ni mafundisho pamoja na maombi On Saturday it's all about teaching and prayers Tulikuwa hapa jumapili mosi na ilipita vizuri. We were here on Saturday it was really good. Bwana asifiwe. Tunaalika wengine waendelee kujiunga kwa hivyo vipindi. We welcome others to join us into that session. Kwa Saturday vile vile inakuwa busy ni ma practice za choirs. Saturday it's also busy we have practice for the choirs. Ushindi wanafanya ukagoa nyimbo na vile vile youth wanafanya practice zao. And the youth choir also they have the practice. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Kwa siku ya pili nilisema kwamba ninatoa kidogo kidogo programu tuliyo nayo ya mwaka. Um giving out small small of the program that we have of the year. Ah uh, tukumbuke kwamba mafundisho yetu ya couples ya siku tatu iko maintained. We have our teachings for the uh, for the couple it's going on in process. Tarehe saba, tarehe nane na tarehe tisa ya mwezi wa ine wa mwaka huu 2023. On the 7th and 8th and 9th of uh, Mwezi wa ine. In April. April. Hiyo itakuwa ni mafundisho ya makapols. That will be a session for the couples. Friday, Saturday ni toka saa 11 hadi saa 1. Eh, ye yeah, saa 11 hadi saa 1. Friday and Saturday from 5 until 7 p.m. Na Sunday hiyo mafundisho itakuwa concluded. And on Sunday we shall be finishing. Uh, mama so watakuwa vile vile na uh, na sema conference yao mafundisho yao mara pili kwa mwaka huu 2023 Mothers will have their conference uh, twice a year of 2023 Na wanahitaji waweze kutupatia tarehe ili tuweze kuiweka katika schedule ya mwaka mzima And they can give us the date so that we can schedule it throughout the year Papas vile vile watakuwa na mkutano wao at least mmoja kwa huu mwaka Fathers will also have one conference in a year Na yule ambaye anaongoza hiyo kikundi wa papas vile vile tatupatia tarehe. Mafundisho wa watumishi wote kwa jumla itakuwa ni tatu kwa mwaka huu. Tutakuwa na moja mwezi wa tatu. Tutakuwa na mwingine mwezi wa ine. Na mwezi wa tano ni mei. Mwezi wa tano. Na mwingine mkutano wa watumishi utakuwa mwezi wa saba. And the last one will be in the Tare tutaweza kujulishwa. Bwana sifiwe. Amen. Tutakuwa conference ya wavijana. We shall have a youth conference. Itakuwa mwezi wa 8. It will be in August. Tare 4, 5, 6. Vijana watakuwa na mkutano hapa. The youth will have their conference here. Kuna mtumishi atatoka Vancouver. We have a servant who will come from Vancouver. Na kuna mwingine nasikia atatoka Montreal. And another one will come from Montreal. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Inaonekana vijana watakuwa busy hapa. Oh, the youth they will be very busy. Hallelujah. Kwa hivyo kwa ajili ya hiyo mkutano wao wanaandaa kwa na concert mwezi wa 3 March. They have a concert in March. Na wanaandaa kwa na concert mwezi wa 7. And they prepare again to have a concert in May. Kwa kufanya kitu fulani fulani ambayo kinaweza kuwa 
Kwa kufanya vitu fulani fulani hivi kuwa patia income ya kuweza kuandaa mkutano. Do more things that can give them income to prepare their uh, their concert. We support and we are waiting for that date. 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 Na vile vile kwa mwisho pasta ametu encourage watumishi wote kwa kuweza kuendelea kumtolea Mungu kwa ajili ya matumizi tulio nayo hapa kanisani. Is encouraging us to continue contribute into the process that we have here in church. Na kanisa lote nzima tuendelee kuwa na moyo wa kumtolea Bwana ili tuendelee kusonga mbele na kazi ya Bwana. We have to have that heart of giving out for the Lord so that the work of God can continue. Hallelujah. Amen. Hiyo ndio matangazo. Those are the announcements. Sorry. Mwezo wa pili? Oh, sorry. Hii wa pili ndiyo kuna hiyo uh, vile vile uh, tulisema ya kwamba tare kumina saba na kumina nane kutakuwa mafundisho ya kuanda hiyo ya mwezo wa ine ya kapolo hapa. We have some session that's going to be preparing for the coming session for the couples in March. Na itaandaliwa vile vile hapa kanisani kutu. It's going to be prepared here at church as well. Kwa nasifiwe. Amen. Mbariki uwa pendo. May God bless you. Shina la wana libarikiwe Nafikiri tunasikia habari ya matangazo Sote Amena Amena, amena Basi, bila kugawia Without wasting time Tutamukaribisha ndugu Jackson kwa nakika mbili hapa We shall welcome our brother Papa Jackson Atumishe kakora sikidogo To give us a short chorus Kwa sababu naona tunatulia sana tunakua baridi baridi Because I see we are very cold Karibu na muze kwa nakika mbili tumi Amen. Mukaribi hapa. Tushima mesote kanisa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Tunakaribisha kwa ya yote uzima eh karibu karibu waimbaji tuje tuimbie Bwana. Tukimaliza kuimba ushindi kimaliza uzima. Tunatoa sadaka zetu pia Kisha 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 Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Tuwe na kawaida ya kupiga mikono kwa ajili ya utukufu wa Bwana jamani. Hii mikono ambayo tuko nayo ni Mungu ametupatia. Haleluya. Amen. Tusimame sote tuchangamuke kwa ajili ya nyimbo. Tunaanza na ushindi. Tunaanza na ushindi kwaya kisha tunaenda na chorus. Amen. Siwe kosha salimia mwego karibu yako kama karibisha ndani ya nyumba ya Bwana. Salimia leo karibu yako mwambie karibu ndani ya nyumba ya baba yako jameni. Eh? Usifanye fanye sabla salimia leo karibu yako. Haleluya. Amen, amen. Amen. Ulishamwambia karibu? Hallelujah.
Haleluya. Haleluya kanisa. Siwasikie muziki. Haleluya. Amen amen. Amen. Basi ni muda mzuri ambao tutakwenda kukaribishana. Ninajua tumesha kuchangamuka. Tumesha kupokea chakula cha uzima. Na tusubiri sasa ingine kidogo ambayo tutapokea kutoka kwa Mungu. Haleluya. Amen. Basi nitasema karibu kwa wababa wote katika kanisa la Sidri Church. Mkaribishe katika jina la Yesu. Tunasema na tunakaa. Tungepasha shimama ni kwa ajili ya Mungu. Ni kwa ajili ya utukufu wa Mungu. Tungeshimama na tunapiga mikono kwa kushangilia. Haleluya wa baba. Karibu katika Haleluya. Basi utukufu ni wa Mungu. Tutasema pia karibu kwa vijana wote katika kanisa la Simba. Nikisema vijana, sikuchagua kusema vijana binti tu anaume wakae. Ninasema vijana wote wanaume na wabinti wote mnachimama mnashangilia haleluya sio wadada tu ndio vijana amena nitarudilia kusema vijana wote Mungu awabariki watoto wetu Mungu yao lakini wako wengine wanafungua midomo yao wanasema haleluya basi bwana apewe sifa sana kwa kutuongoza kwa siku ya leo kuwa mahali hapa ni muda mzuri ambao tutaweza kusema kama mgeni iko katika kanisa mara ya kwanza anaweza kushimama pia na yetumkaribishi kama kuna mgeni mara yako ya kwanza unaingia mahali hapa tutakusii ushimame tukaribishe au hauko mgeni lakini yuko siku nyingi haukuweza kuingia ushimame tukaribishe haleluya ninaona sote ni watoto wa nyumbani ila tuna mgeni mmoja ambaye atatutuma sote tushimame na kushangilia Yesu Kristo Haleluya. Tutaenda kusikiliza neno la Mungu. Ni nini Mungu aliandaa kwa ajili yetu jioni ya leo? Asubuhi ya leo. Kanisa mzima tutashimama. Tutashimama sote. Kanisa mzima na mfupa na mdogo. Haleluya. Nani yawe za kuniweka huni Yesu mokozi Yesu mokozi kufukushi
Mwisha Pastor Emmanuel. Mwisha Mwaka Pastor Emmanuel. Pastor Emmanuel akiombea sadaka. He's going to pray for our Diyo tole wana watumishu wa mungu. Kuitia katika mikono ya mungu. Kisha mtungaji ambaya katulisha neno. Pastor Emmanuel akimaliza kuomba. Ata karibia ukumbele. Kwa kutulisha neno na mungu. Ni mtungaji wetu Pastor Charles. Ata sogelea pia ukumbele. Ma Emmanuel akimaliza kuombea sadaka. Ata tuombea sadaka hizi. Baba tunasema asante kwa asubu ya leo. Tuwada kunyosha kikapo hii na matoleo hii ambayo buwana imotoleo kwa adili ya kazi yako. Bariki wale wote ambayo menyosha ikono yao na kutia kitu ndani ya kikapo hii. Buwana ubariki mahali ambayo metoa. Wabariki makazini. Wapenguvu na afya. Ido waendele kutumikia mahali ambayo wanatumika. Na wapake buwana kila siku chochote ya kutolea. Ini kazi yako iweze kusonga mele. Buwana kumbuka wale wote ambayo walikuwa na moyo vile vile wa kutolea. Lakini leo haupata chochote ya kutolea. Ini juma ijayo vile vile buwana. Wabariki kwa njia nyingine na wawati kwa weze kutolea. Weo ambayo unabariki ndege wangani. We ambaye unalisha wanyama katika uh, uh, hali balimbali marangapi bwana usiwabariki wale ambao uko tayari bwana kutoa kwa ajili ya kazi yako asanti kwa yote ambayo utakayoitenda hii ni sadaka hii na moja ya kumi iweze kufanya kazi yako iweze Mungu kuendelesha kazi yako mahali popote ulimwenguni tunaomba na tukiamini katika jina la baba la mwana na la roho mtakatifu amina akiombea neno la Mungu karibu mtungaji Charles hapa mbele tunakujiandaa kwa neno la Mungu na mtungaji akiomba baba ushema lipo kuinuka naja mbele zako katika mchana huu nikimkabidhi mtumishi wako ambaye ni chombo tu kitakayetulisha neno baba naja kuomba mtumikishe tu bwana ili maneno yatakayotoka kinywani mwake bwana asiwe ni yeye bali ni wewe nene nipitia mwake na sisi tutakasikia neno hilo baba alipata kutubariki alipata kutufariji alipata kutendea maajabu naja kuweka pia mkalimani wake mikononi mwako bao muongoze umsaidie baba apate kutafisiri kutoka na jinsi umemwandaa asante bwana kwa kuwa wote wako katika ngazi moja Mumbiri na kio na na translate wake na sita kesi ya neno hilo nende kutuzazia matunda na kutendea miujiza ni katika jina la baba na mwana mta katika na mwana katika mbili amen basi na juu mungu atawabariki na sita kae tu sikilize nini mungu ameanda kwa juu yetu mubariki wesana karibu I thank the Lord again to be here in front of you. As usual, as I get used to, when I sing the song of Simama Imara, I know why I like to sing that song. Because when you see a human life, we don't walk through the way it should be. We are walking through it. Like a snake. Like a snake. So that's why the, the song says we have to stand up still. You know the double that is called the drop story. The bat. When you look at the, his face, he looks like a dog. Like a dog. 
And then they can fly like a bird. So it's not on the dark side. Even to the, uh, uh, to the birds, it's not there anymore. So that's why you can see the, the bird in his sleep all day and the night is awake. So we are going to sing that song. So God can bless them wherever they are. So we are going to remind everyone here the word in the Bible. They already picked up many things. And we already hear many preachers are preaching. So we are going just to make everyone to remind everyone here. So we are going to open our Bible. To Isaiah chapter 40. Isaiah chapter 40. So we can forgive us because our voice are no okay today. But God is going to help us. So we are going to open our Bible in the book of Mark. Mark chapter 1. So we are going to open our Bible in the book of Mark. Chapter 11, 
verses 1 to 9. That is Dr. Soba. And Esther could read for us. Mark chapter 11, verse 1 to 9 says, As Jesus and his disciples approached Jerusalem, they came to the towns of Bethpage and Bethany on the Mount of Olives. Jesus sent two of them on ahead. Go into the village over there, he told them. As soon as you enter it, you will see a young donkey tied there that no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks, what are you doing? Just say the Lord needs it and will return it soon. Four. The two disciples left and found the colt standing in the street, tied outside the front door. Five. As they were untied it, as they were untying it, some bystanders demanded, What are you doing? Untie that colt. They said what Jesus told them to say, and they were committed to take it. Then they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their garments over it, and they sat on it. Mm. Eight. Many in the crowd spread their garments on the road ahead of them, and the others spread lefty branches they left had cut in the fields. Nine. Jesus was in the center of the procession, and the people all around him were shouting, Praise God. Blessings on the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 Marko mtakatifu sura 11 mstari wa 1 hadi 9. Okay. Hata walikaribia Yerusalemu karibu na Betage. Okay. Na Betania. Kukabili mlima wa Mizeituni. Okay. Aliwatuma wawili katika wanafunzi wake. Akawaambia. Nendeni mpaka kile kijiji kinachowakabilia. Na katika kuingia ndani yake mara mtamwona mwana punda amefungwa asiyepandwa na mtu bado mfungweni kamleteni na mtu akiwaambia bado mnafanya nini hivi semeni bwana anamhitaji na mara atamrudisha tena hapa ine wakaenda zao wakamwona mwana punda amefungwa peke mlango penye mlango nje katika njia kuu wakamfungua tano baadhi ya watu waliosimama hapo wakamwambia mnafanya nini kumfungua mwana punda wakamwambia kama Yesu alivyowaagiza nao wakamu wakawa ruhusu wakamleta yule wakamleta wakamletea Yesu yule mwana punda wakatandika waka, waka mavazi yao juu yake wakaketi juu yake watu wengi wakatandika wakandaza mavazi yao njiani na wengine wata, waka, watawi matawi waliyoyakata wa shambani kenda nao watu waliotangulia na wale walio fuata wakapata sauti hozana ndiye mbarikiwa ajaye kwa jina la Bwana amen 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 haleluya haleluya hapo ina tuetani hadithi ya Yesu and here we can see the story of Jesus Yesu wakati aliposafiri na watu na watu na so when he was traveling with his disciples they were going to Jerusalem and close to reach to the, to the city they stopped at somewhere and then they sent the disciple and said go and you'll see a donkey over there and no one had ridden on that donkey before bring it to me here and when they ask you just say I send you guys and why Jesus said that the one who never be riding on any person so everything that is still new he have his own respect over 
na everything you are not doing something new is going to be well na wakati unatumikisha kitu ambacho kimekwisha tumikishiwa hakuna heshima nacho and when you, you use something that have been used before it doesn't have the value kwa sababu haikuwa ule mfundisha because it's not you you uh, you teach the person sisi wenye tunatembeza magari ile ya use and the people who drive the used car wanaendaka na speed hawangariki Now when you you drive you can speed it when you don't even care. Sababu kimekwisha haisha tayari. Because it's done already. Like used. Huyu mwanatembeza brand new. Me but the person who use brand new car hapendi hata kusonga karima mingine. They doesn't even want to be close to that to the another car in a, in a road. Anepaje heshima. Because he have the value. Pale cha echo alichukua hiyo punda and then when Jesus asked to bring the donkey alijua ile atasema punda atafata. Because he knew he's going to be the first one and wherever he's going to speak to the donkey he's going to follow. Bunda hayawai kubeba hata mtu mmoja. Because he never carry anyone. Wakamleta hiyo bunda and they brought the donkey to him. Akapanda juu ya bunda and then he went off, off above the donkey on top. Anaingia mjini. And then now he he proceed to the city. Wakati bunda aliona wanatandika vikwembe chini. Now when the donkey saw people are putting all the clothes on the floor. Bunda alijua wanamtandikani yeye and the donkey knew uh, this is for me. Manake ni mara ya kwanza anabeba kwa mgongo because he knew this is my first time to carry someone. Na wanamtandikia mangu chini. And when they put clothes on the floor that means it is for me. Anaona kwa wenzake wanapita hakuna kitu. He knew other donkeys can pass there is nothing. Lakini yeye wanampigia mako but me and the donkey he knew uh, they clapping for him hapo kuna siri kubwa so there's a big secret over there lakini punda hakujua mwana mbeba tu anampigia mako but the donkey didn't knew didn't realize the one on top of me that the one they are clapping on him yali jwani yeye punda but the donkey knew is for me na anakanyaka vikwembe and then he step on those clothes hakuya kama bana mwenye bana mtandika vikwembe ni una mbeba so he didn't realize the one I'm carrying is the one they are putting clothes on punda katemba na heshima yake so oje the donkey was uh, step with the yeah, makelele, and they are clapping and crying Anafungwa mali, anafungwa masikio na And then he was truly listening with the ears open. Anajua ni yeye. With all like he was so proud because he knew it's for me. When I saw kaenda mpaka kanisani and Jesus was went and to the church. Akabai kwa kanisa. So he stayed to the church. Punda wakamrudisha kwenye wali. And then the donkey they returned the donkey where he was. Kupita siku kidogo after a few days and then the, the donkey himself just continues way to the road and then when the donkey saw people and then he was stepping and looking for the people they didn't recognize that donkey anymore they don't care about the donkey and the donkey realized uh, and then he continued the road and then the donkey saw other people that like are looking at him and then there was they they understand maybe the donkey just uh, get lost what the donkey is doing here and then they 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 stone the donkey and the donkey just ran away but the donkey went back and, and told the other donkeys and the donkey say the day i i, I carry that person They, they put all the clothes on the floor they put the, the, the trees there was a, a yelling and, and, and singing and singing like but today i went they stoned me why and then the other donkey said you know why you don't know they didn't put clothes on for you the one you were carrying they respect that person the one who belonged to those clothes on the way it wasn't you that's the way you come on appenda tena now if you want again ukimuona if you see the person you have to carry the same person bunda kasema now the donkey realized maraka ikukua yangu it wasn't for me so in the same way we are saying for our uh, the christian we resemble to the to the donkey when you abandon jesus that's the way your respect is going to end it wakati hauna tena Yesu when you don't have Jesus hallelujah, hallelujah. that the time your respect will be ended 
Mbele ulikuona Mbele ulikuona pita before you were passing watu wanakupigia makofi. When you are passing before people will clap for you. Watu wanakulamkia. And people will say hi to you. They will greet you. Watu wanakuheshimu. And people are respecting you. Lakini leo but today watu hawakuheshimu tena. They don't respect you anymore. People they look at you like a normal person. Now you start asking yourself. Why people are not respecting me anymore? Why people are not calling me anymore? Why people are not coming to visit me anymore? It's because you don't have Jesus in your life anymore. And the time you don't have Jesus in your life. The devil have eyes can see you. And that way you see the respect is no more. If today I stand up in front of you, it's because of my attitude and behavior I have. And the way I walk and fear God. But when they see me going to the bar, I become drunk. Even maybe pastor here can also let me step forward here to preach the word of God. And if I come here and step here, you guys, everybody can just leave this uh, area and go. And people will start saying, even pastor for that church resemble to that person. And that at the time you see people are more disrespected is the way we walk through our life is no uh, regarding the will of God so the donkey thought uh, they are putting clothes on the floor because of him but because he realized it wasn't for him it's because the one who you are carrying. And even ourselves, if you they are giving us respect. If people are calling you, you are calling people to help and they come for your help. It's because they are seeing you are carrying Jesus. But when you drop Jesus, you start gossiping and complaining that church doesn't have love. Because people will be calling, they won't listen to your call you back. You are greeting people and they are not hearing for you anymore. Even to your place, they won't visit you anymore. And if you didn't realize like I'm done and finished, it's because you don't have Jesus in your life. You put Jesus down. You know the life he went through in 2022. You can realize and know yourself the way you were working up and down with God. But this 2023, I'm going to tell you to stand still. Because it's not easy to work for God. The, the strength you received to come from your home to here to church. It was the will of God. But now. Amen. The devil is a liar. Amen. 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 So that the time now you can realize the time you abandon God that the time you realize you don't have any respect anymore. And brother and sister, I'm telling you to this morning just open your eyes and your mind. When you see many problems that come to your life, it's not people are witching you, but you are witching yourself. Because the God is a jealous God. When you start showing yourself like you are God's person, but you, 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 you are not working with God's will, and God is going to abandon you. When God abandons you, now you become, you become now physical. You are not spiritual anymore. 
and you are Christian. And you know when he, he was in Nairobi, he was feeling pity to people, and he sometimes he feel crying. The teeth of the Nairobi they can steal you with a Bible in a hand. They can go through the through the bus and they have a Bible. And, and then when people are too tight in a bus, so he can put the finger in a pocket. And he's stealing. The people are surrounded him that all the teeth. So the one who is putting the, the hand in a the pocket, they, they took him. So they were trying to remove his hand, but he couldn't. So he was saying, So they were trying to remove his hand, but he couldn't. And I said, But where are you going? And then they were saying, You are stealing me. So I said, You are stealing me. And you know, in a bus, when people are standing with that, it was, people are many, you can see just the head, you don't see the bottom part. So the, the group is trying to remove the hand in a pocket. And when the hand came out, and then the person came, Hallelujah! And then they say, God have to, 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 to visit some people here. And they say, I'm preaching the word of God. And when they show the Bible like this, and the person was saying, like, uh, people are stealing me. And then he was confused. <laughs> that was like, a, that confusion, how can Papa can steal me? Because he didn't know which hand was stealing him. So the, the team was protecting the person. But, but, and then some people will come and interfere and then say, stop uh, disrespecting the uh, servant of God. And at the time we are being confused in a Christian's life. When you get saved, you have to really be saved. You have to fear the sin. The sin is many things. You have to be uh, fearful of sins. And you have to be in a good will with, with people. So you continue carrying Jesus in your back. And then you'll be shining. And everybody is going to respect you. When you leave Jesus, the respect is going to go on. Even your strength will be gone. But don't, be, don't give up. Our God is merciful God. So we'll read in the book of Joel. Joel chapter 3, verse 12 to 14. Joel chapter 3, verse 12 to 14. Joel chapter 3, verse 12 to 14. Joel chapter 3, verse 12 to 14 says, This is why the Lord says, Turn to me now while there is time. Give me your heart. Come with fasting, weeping, and mourning. Don't tear your clothes in grief but tear your hearts instead. Turn to the Lord your God, for he is merciful and compassionate, slow to, ang to get angry and filled with unfailing love. He is eager to relent and to not punish. 14. Who knows, perhaps he will give you a reprieve, sending you blessings instead of this curse. Perhaps you will be able to offer grain and wine to the Lord your God as before. Amen. 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 That's all my Joel chapter 2, chapter 2, verse 12 to 14. In a sema, in a sema, in a sema, Lakini hata sasa, a sema buana. Nirudieni mimi kwa mioyo yenu yote, na kwa kufunga, na kwa kulia, na kwa kuomboleza, tatu, mkula tatu. Rarueni mioyo yenu, wala si, mabazi yenu, Mukamurudie buwana mungu wenu. Kwa mana yeye ndiye mwenye neema. Amejaa huruma. Simwepesi kwa. Simwepesi wa hasira. Na mwingi wa rehema. Nae. Ugairi mabaya. Kuminaine. Nani anajua ye kwamba. Hata rudi na ugeuka. Na, kutu, na kutuachia baraka nyuma yake nam sadaka ya unga na sadaka ya kinywaji kwa bwana mungu wenu amen amen amen, amen.
So when you return to God, you have to go back to God in truly. You have to confess your sin. You have to confess all your sins. So God can return you back again. And then you can continue in your work. So you, you don't have to resemble that donkey. Because when you abandon God, and then you can you can start, uh, start saying God can, can't help me anymore. And then you just sit down. You are killing yourself. But you have to understand God is gonna understand you. God is gonna help you when you continue on your way. And then when temptation came, you have to stand still. And have a hope by saying the one I'm praying. Is a, is a true God. And all my problem will be solved. Because we go to God with all our big files. You don't want to go to God and bring a smallest file. And go to pray God I have a debt for $50. God please help me so Pastor Mondo can forget that $50. God will never answer your prayer. Just find $50 and go pay your debt. When you have a huge problem, even if I so you can say, even if I, I give this big fight to Pastor to pray for me, he won't understand it. He won't be carry it. So take it, take it to God and leave it to God. God is going to be able to solve it. So when you come to God, and you abandon all your back life or your sins life God is going to help you and God won't judge you anymore God is going to help you and then he's going to raise you up the way you were before I, I say here and on earth there is no one who is like a Jesus Christ. All of us, we always go back and when we, we backslide again. And then we try to go forward and then we come back again. But on that journey of go back and forth, we are moving, we start moving slowly. We are moving slowly. And there is time that you can stand still and then you start, you start, you start to stay going forward. How you want to stand still is because when you start living, uh, loving the world, and that right, time right. the world is carrying you, moving you left and right. And then when you realize that everything for this world is vanity, only, only God himself and at the time you can now start walking forward now. So God can help us. We are going to finish with Psalms. Zaburi the Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I'll protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. Amen. Amen. Sorry. Kwa kuwa mikaza, unipenda. Nitamukoa na umweka palipo juu. Kwa kuwa amenijua jina langu. Kuminatana. Atanijita ata nami nitamuitika. Nitakuwa pamoja nae taabuni. Nitamukoa na umtukuza. Kuminasita. Kwa siku nyingi, nitamushibisha nami 
so why you are being disappointed? The one who knows you. You and I, if you will recognize God in our lives. God will never abandon our lives. God is going to bless us. Because God is seeing your tears every single time when you are crying. So it is his responsibility to, for God to come and raise us. And all our enemies. God is continuing to punish them. Because he will never abandon his child to suffer. And then the devil comes to, to, to play with his children. It's a duty for God to return all the judgment to the enemies. And at the time you found yourself, that the people you used to talk to, they are not talking to you anymore. You question yourself why just God separated me with all my friends. Don't, don't be afraid. Because among us, those friends, they, among us, them, there was your enemy. And that the reason why, because of your prayer, God just stopped them called them calling to come to you. Now, those people now start hating you. Because you are sending fire through your prayer to so you cannot just go back again. So I get, my, our advice is just to continue with your prayer and continue forward. And God will start will continue to punish your enemies. So you, that way you are, we are saying, I'm not seeing the power of God. Is there the power of God? God cannot just judge them at once. And God is going dis like to uh, give sending fire to them slowly. So everything you are doing is not going well. Maybe because you are, you are carrying some language towards someone else. This is a time to forgive people. So you can be okay with your God. So when you are praying to God and cry to God, so God is going to see your heart is pure. But behind you, and people are surrounding you, those all are enemies. So God is going to step like stoning one by one. And then you are going to start hearing, oh, some person, he have them problems. And you are like, just quiet there with your God. So you don't want to comment for bad things. Because when you start saying or praying, God is going to forgive your enemy. Well, you, your, your job is just to say thank you to Lord. And uh, you just worship God then. To continue punishing all my enemies. Don't give questions at the building. <laughs> Fashion, punishing one by one until the end so they can say there is a Lord's service. You know the way when the way he prayed when he kneeled the knee down when he's saying his prayer he's taking the hand on, on a floor because he's cursing the enemy so when you are, you are, you are fighting my life the, the, you understand yourself in many problems. And when he finishes prayer, and then he's gonna say, God, if I don't see your work, I'm gonna I'm gonna show the Bible. And I will say you are no longer exist. And then when he says Amen, he's gonna sleep. Because they have a, like a spiritual anger. 
Kitu. You know when a child come and ask you something. And they say, Mom, give me food. And then when you, are, you when you don't give me food, and you, you look like you don't like me. And then he just leave and go. And then you can say you start looking to that child. The voice my child just uh, addressed to me. He never see, he never say like Kuta this mupa. before. You wanna remove food and give to the child. Wakati ndio nasema wakati unaomba omba kwa asira. That the Bible say when we are praying we have to pray in a spiritual anger. Hapana kuomba kwa naomba macho huko telephone. And then when you are praying you are, you are looking your TikTok. <laughs> your prayer won't go anywhere. Omba kwa asira. You have to pray in a spiritual anger. He did me in 23. The 2023, you must see the hand of God. God will never leave us in a suffering. If you are okay, then other people are suffering. We are not saying that you are not suffering. We are not saying that you are not suffering. We are not saying that you are not suffering. We are not saying that you are if you can say, well, let's call one billionaire here and sit there and then one by one can take and five minutes to go and talk to that billionaire. I think everyone here, each one here can spend maybe two to three hours saying and talking. But now those problems, let go to God and talk to him. Because the Bible says, I will forgive you. I will help you. I will return all your respect. Why you are staying on the floor down? That God can raise you up again. God can walk you again. And God will bless you again. Thank <laughs> you.